machine right here is a Kluge 12x18 automatic letter press. The cool thing about it is that it's kind of the furthest you can kind of get away from where printing's going. It goes back to some of the original production printing that was, I guess, invented in Germany by a guy named Gutenberg. And uh, so really this technology is about 550 years old. ready state which uh, means that you're setting up your job and I guess back in the old days they just said make ready uh, but they're you know they're also lock heads. so you lock in the magazine here um, paper loads out of here these are all essentially are vacuum fingers you know um, and there's not even really a vacuum running it just creates pressure uh, some compression and you hear it when it's running like a like a locomotive The sound of the pressure building up, sucking, and then um, and basically lets out the pressure and drops the paper down into here. And uh, you can see these are rollers. And uh, what they do is when your ink's up here, um, I'll engage the. So it's now pushing against here. I mean, all kinds of fancy little things on this one. Kind of comes through, goes up, and then as this closes, right now you'll see this isn't actually in press mode, but I can pull it back. All you need is a couple pea side scoops. These peas size scoops, little El Cap Ocala E's dipping in there. It's gonna be uh, all eco friendly, it's all reclaimed cotton, all recycled reclaimed cotton, and it's all soy based veggie, veggie eggs. So we're pulling away so it just barely grazes the plate. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Okay, now you're off the pressure. We gotta make sure that the ink, the ink, uh, there we go. Okay. Right, there you go. Ready? 1850s design like this literally revolutionized uh, the printing industry when it came to small job printing. Uh, except for the hydraulics, except for the electric, the deck of turning, the flywheel, the basic construction concept of the roller, the ink dish, the flywheel, the railroad like hog, all of this is 1820 through 1850s technology. So this, this press would not have been foreign to somebody uh, printing, uh, let's say, Harper's Weekly in 1861, except it's got just a few more, you know, mechanical use modes. By the way.
been talking to a lot of old school printers because I've been really getting into this. And um, of a lot of all the old school printers I've talked to, I've met three guys missing fingers uh, from printing. <laughs> One or two digits. Oh man. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. So I, I don't know when that's going to happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I uh, might want to just stick digital.